Hot toddies have a bad reputation of tasting like boozy cough syrup, and I'm here to tell you we can do way better than that. This warm and soothing cocktail isn't just for flu season anymore. Today, we're gonna make one that's good enough to drink for your own personal enjoyment, sick or not. The first thing we're gonna do is make a traditional hot toddy, only we're gonna use rum instead of whiskey. Then I'm gonna show you how much better it could be with just a few extra ingredients. I've just added some water to a microwave safe pitcher here. I'm gonna microwave it on high for about 45 seconds. You can also heat up your water on the stove top in a saucepan or in a kettle. The water is hot, it's good and steamy. I'm gonna go ahead and get my rum into the glass. Hot toddies are traditionally made with whiskey, but I really love the spiciness of this spiced rum. So we'll just add that in there. Now to that, we're gonna add a generous tablespoon of honey. If you like it sweeter, you can add more. Just a couple teaspoons of lemon juice will do the trick. A little lemon goes a long way. And now I'm gonna pour in my hot water. All right, let's give it a taste. tastes pretty much like a cough drop. So the first thing we're gonna do to take our hot toddies to the next level is add just a few allspice, some whole allspice to the water. Now I'm gonna add one star anise. These spices are gonna add all the warm and cozy vibes to our cocktail. I'm just gonna heat it again at 45 seconds on high in the microwave. And what's gonna happen is these spices are gonna steep in here quickly and they're gonna flavor that water. We've added zero sugar, but just 45 seconds with a couple of spices in the microwave and it smells sweet and fragrant and it's gonna be really delicious in this hot toddy. So just like we did before, we're gonna add rum to the glass. And again, you can use whiskey if you prefer. We'll add some honey, a little squeeze of fresh lemon, and that last little extra ingredient, some fresh orange. Orange, rum, and these spices go so well together and it gives this cocktail all the cozy winter feels. So I'm adding just about a tablespoon of orange juice here. And now what we're gonna do is just pour in our water and our spices, give it a stir. And then for an extra special touch, I like to add a stick of cinnamon all right, let's try this one. There's so much more flavor and complexity going on in this cocktail, and it really didn't take a whole lot more effort to get there. It's easy enough to make when you're not feeling well, but delicious enough to serve to company.